to stay real It beats for you, so listen close Hear my thoughts in every note oh, oh. Hi everyone, today I have a, another back to school look for you guys um, this is a more of a dramatic look compared to the other look that I did. Um, I'll link that down in the description bar if you guys want to check that out if maybe this is a little too dark for you guys. But um, today I used all drugstore products um, from my primer, my eyeshadow, my blush, my lip gloss, even the brushes that I used. Um, speaking of the brushes that I used, um, they were the Eco Tools brushes. It comes in a little pack like this. You get five brushes, a mirror, and then it just folds up like this, and it's perfect for like in your makeup bag or your purse. Um, it doesn't come decorated like this. I did this myself. I put my initials on it. Um, but it's this canvasy type material, which you could easily decorate. Um, but yeah, you get these five brushes here. And I use all of them in this tutorial except for this end one right here. Um, but you could very well use that for like a highlight in your inner tear duct or something like that. But um, I used these, which I got online, but you can get these at Target. Um, on the Ego Tools website, these are only, this pack is only $8. So that's pretty good for five little four inch brushes. They're pretty awesome. I also used, um, again, Eco Tools. I really like this brand. The brushes are really soft and all that. Um, I used a blush brush. And then I used um, one of their eyeshadow brushes just to apply a highlight. Um, for the colors that I used today, I used the Petal Pushers palette um, from Wet n Wild. Super cheap. Great colors. Love it. I used um, Drugstore Mascaras used a drugstore lip gloss and a drugstore primer. Um, yeah, so everything I used is super cheap and if you guys want to learn how I got this look then just keep on watching. Okay, so to get started I'm going to be using the NYX um, HD eyeshadow primer. This uh, you can find at Ulta or um, online. I'm not too sure if you can get it at any drugstores like Walgreens or CVS. Um, I'm pretty sure though that it's only at Ulta or their website. Okay, and We're going to apply that on our lid and all the way up to our eyebrow. Now we're going to take this little brush like this. This is the Eco Tools shade brush and we're going to use this eyelid color here. So pick some of that up. We're going to just put this on our eyelid for now. Alright, so once you have that all over the lid, we're going to take the fluffy angled brush um, like this. This is the crease brush from the Eco Tools little pouch. And we're going to take um, the eyelid color again that we just put on. We're going to pick some of that up and then we're going to go back and forth into the crease, sweeping this all the way up until it's well blended. Okay, like that. Now we're going to take the fluffy dome brush, um, this is the highlight one, and we're going to pick up this crease color right here, which is right under the light purple that we just used. So pick some up, tap it off, and we're going to start on the outside, slowly moving in. And then just blend back and forth. This is just going to give our eyeshadow a little more definition. 
All right, so once that's applied, we're going to take this brow bone color up here. It's a shimmery white. And we're going to pick it up on our um, Eco Tools blend brush. It's just a big, dense brush like this. Tap it off, and we're going to just put this under the brow bone. And then we're also just going to go back and forth with this to kind of mesh the two together. We don't want that harsh, dark purple line. Okay, just like that. Next I'm going to take just a black eyeliner. You can use any liner. Um, I'm using the Ulta one. Um, this, of, of course, I got at the Ulta store. And we're just going to go in on our top lash line and then smudge a little bit on our lower lash line, but we're not going to go all... I just want it on the outer part. It's going to make our lashes look mo more full on the outside. So just like that. And then we're also going to smudge it on our lower lash line just a little bit and then we're going to take a little detailed brush like this I got this at the 100 yen store and we're just going to smudge out that black line Next we're going to curl our lashes. I'm just using a Revlon eyelash curler. My, on my lower lash line I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Lash Blast, lash Blast Mascara. Every time I say that I have trouble with it. I don't understand. I'm also going to be using this on my top lashes. If you want, you can stop there, but, but I love mascara, so I'm going to go in now with the um, Voluminous Carbon Black by L'Oreal. I think this finishes off my lashes just like perfectly. Okay, now we're done with the eyes. Let's move on to the face. So today I'm going to be using a blush um, from Wet n Wild. This is in a little, um, I want to say sample size. I got this in a pack with um, an eyeshadow and nail polish and I think a lip gloss for like $4.99. It was really cheap. But I believe um, that they have this one also in the full size, which is like this. Um, but this color is Mellow One. I don't know if you guys can see. So we're going to take are the Eco Tools blush brush like this. Pick some up. Tap it off. Okay. And because this is a really simple school look, you don't have to do this, but I am going to apply a little bit of highlighter. Um, and I'm actually using a blush for that. I bought a NYX blush in the color Angel. And it's just a little too light for my skin, but it is shimmery, so it kind of gives like a little sheer to the tops of my cheeks, and I really like um, Another blush I would recommend, drugstore-wise, this is only like $5 at the most, I believe. It's something really cheap, and it's really soft, and I, I just really love it. It's pigmented, and it goes on nice. Okay, so we're just going to take our little eyeshadow Eco Tools brush like this, and then we're going to pick up some of this, tap it off, and then we're just going to go 
on the tops of our cheekbones. And then blend it out. All right. So the next step is lips. Um, in high school, I didn't wear a lot of lipstick at all, ever. <laughs> I usually just wore lip gloss. So I'm just going to be applying the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in the color beige. It gives you enough color. It's super creamy. I love this lip gloss and it's super cheap. I think it's five, five or six dollars. I don't know. I really love it though. Alright, so that completes our look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you are excited to go back to school and um, check out my other video if this is a little too dramatic for school for you. Um, I have a um, more everyday look. I hope you guys have a great day and as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.